Yeah, so I won't, uh, I'll just double down on everything you said, but I'll add to it as well. And that is that uh, one of the reasons why I got into working with the financial industry so much is my time in cybersecurity. And the biggest issue in cybersecurity is finding something that you don't know even exists, right? Uh, it is looking at data and you can't tell what the right data to look at is because you don't know what you're looking for. You're just looking for signal in the noise. And there is a significant similarity between that and what modern investment strategists are trying to do, right? That's where alpha comes from. That's where quant is trying to work with is those algorithms. So the, the, the principles of AI that were developed over 10 years ago for things like money laundering and human trafficking detection are still very much in play today. They've just iterated and evolved. And the one thing I will say though, is I, I heard the panels yesterday as well. Everybody says generative AI, and I think it's important to note that it's really not about generative AI, it's about foundations, right? So foundation models pave the way for generative AI, but not exclusively. There's a lot of modern AI that is not generative that can still be exceptionally beneficial uh, to, to investment strategy, to finding alpha, to looking at, at statistics and analysis, right? So I just wanna, just from a vocabulary perspective, it's important to point that out. It's not all generative, but it is all advanced AI. Uh, but one of the things that we look at from a use case perspective is if you look at non-traditional data sources, if you look at the art of the possible and you put all that together in a more advanced AI platform, if you ask the right questions, it can significantly advance your strategy, your investment strategy, your ability to locate alpha and use it more quickly, more efficiently. And the unique value to financial institutions is not necessarily the model and what you're training it with, it's who's asking the questions. You could sit down two different investment companies with the same model trained the exact same way, but two different people asking the questions and the model will produce very different answers. It depends upon how explicit you are and it depends upon how detailed and how well you craft the question. And one of the interesting examples yesterday, uh, somebody had said, if you use the words, please and thank you. Yes. If you use the words please and thank you, it generates different answers than if you just speak to it like it's a machine. And um, unfortunately, uh, you can ask public models to give you information they're not supposed to give you. And if you say please, it will actually reveal it to you anyway, because it's trained to say, oh, well, you're being nice, so I'm gonna be nice to you. Uh, so th there's a lot of nuances to this that have to be considered, but the, the value here can be immense if people have the right amount of experience and know how to ask the right questions. And that goes back to what Amy was saying as well as about the importance of understanding the use cases that you wanna deliver. 